Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this, I have no idea how to say this, Schinken Nudeln, Nudeln, anyway, whatever it is, it's pasta and a ham and cream sauce, that's what it is. Um, this was sent to us by Maria in Berlin, Germany, so thank you very much for sending this to me. Um, looks really, really good. It does have pan directions, and uh, um, she said you can also do it in the microwave, and she gave me the directions for the microwave, but you can do it in a pan as well. So the microwave directions are, basically, get a bowl and put this in it. I'm just gonna cut it. Put this in the bowl. Make sure you get all the seasonings out. Make sure you get all the powder out of the bottom. And then you add 500 milliliters of warm water. There. Give it a good stir. And then what we're going to do is microwave it for six minutes, stir it up, and then do another six minutes, and then it'll be ready. Um, this particular one is, um, there are two servings in the container. One serving is 310 calories. So you eat the whole package for 620 calories, which isn't too awfully bad. So I'm going to get this in the microwave. I'm not going to cover it or anything. I'm just going to put it in there just like this, and I'll be back. All right, so here it is out of the microwave. I haven't even stirred it up, but it feels pretty good. It's not doesn't have a ton of sauce in there. I mean, you can kind of see it doesn't have like a lot of liquid, but um, the noodles are well coated. So I think it'll be fine. Um, it smells good. It smells really good. And the steam um, and the noodles feel like they're good and soft. So, uh, so I'm going to take this over the table and we'll try it out. Is that like bow time? Not quite. It's like little pieces of pasta, like a little piece of egg noodle broken up is what it looks like. So anyway, I'll be right back. All right. So here we go. It has these little like brown pieces that could be pieces of ham. I don't, I don't know what they are. They're chewy, like they have the texture of ham um, or some kind of pork. Maybe even, it's definitely not bacon because it doesn't have the flavor of a smoked dried or smoked bacon. Um, it does have more of a ham flavor. So those are little hunks of ham that were dried out in the, in the mix and then when you cook it, it, it uh, moistens them back up or softens them, rehydrates them. Um, it tastes like egg noodles and ham. It's actually really good. The, uh, the pasta is a little small so you have a hard time getting on your, on your fork. If you had a spoon, you know, I never know what to eat things with. Um, if I had a spoon, it'd probably be easier to eat with. It cooked really well in the microwave too. The, um, I don't know that the microwave was necessarily any faster because from what it, what I can read on the directions, it looks like you basically do it the same amount of time on the stove as you do in the microwave. So I don't know, maybe if your stove's a little slower as far as getting things to boil, but um, it worked out really well with the microwave. Noodles have a little firmness to it, which I like. It's a little firm and not like hard or crunchy or anything, but they're firm. Um, the little ham pieces are chewy. Honestly, the only thing I would add to this is a little bit of uh, salt and pepper. Probably not even salt, more, probably more just pepper than anything. But uh, overall, the flavor is really good. I can see... Hmm, I can see this being a side dish for anything. Or you can eat it for lunch just by itself. It's a, I would probably make this... Truth be told, I would probably make this the night before and put it in containers and take it in and heat it back up at work the next day. That way you're not having to get this huge bowl because it takes a big bowl like this so it doesn't boil over because it, it, it's boiling the whole time. Um, so you need a big bowl and you need a microwave for a really long time. Whereas if you go ahead and cook it the night before and then put it in a container and just reheat it the next day, I think you'll be, be good. Uh, I would probably put just a little bit of butter in there uh, the night before. That way when uh, you heat it up, it'll be a little moister because it tends to dry out when you heat it up the next day. But anyway, that's just my, that's my, my personal opinion is it would be better with a little tap, tap of butter in there before you heat it up the next day. But really good flavors. It is exactly what it says it is. It would make an excellent side, make an excellent lunch. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I guess I should give it a number. Um, I'm gonna give it, it's not like, you know, it, it's more of a side dish than a full meal. Although, like I said, you could eat it as a full meal. Um, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I really do like it. This is something that I would eat with meals um, all the time if I had it in my area. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Even for lunch, it'd be really good. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.